Hello to everybody at home. My name is Vicki Mullally. I am a local stand-up comedian here in St. John's. And today I'm going to help uh, prepare some foods that would be good to enjoy during a kitchen party. So in addition to learning how to make your shaker instruments so you can uh, enjoy the kitchen party and participate, also going to prepare you for a few little snacks and refreshments that would be good to have on hand during a classic Newfoundland kitchen party. So, I mean, my, my kitchen skills aren't the best, but we're going to work with what we got, and uh, I'm sure you guys at home can do a much better job than me, but let's go for it. So, at a typical Newfoundland kitchen party, of course, if you're not bringing an instrument to be one of the people who are going to be providing entertainment, you can always provide some snacks and refreshments. So, that's kind of like me. I'm not very musically talented, so I'll always run to the grocery store instead and take that on. So, what can we have here as a refreshment to start? Um, of course, a little cup of tea, cup of lovely as my dad would call it. We're a Tetley family in my house, so you know, you gotta have one of those. And I, I don't have any carnation milk right now, but that is what I will be putting in mine. Um, I like it when it's in my tea. Not so much in my cereal, but you know, we've all experienced that once or twice, hey? Not the best day, but in the tea, something to be said. What else do we have to drink? It's not a Newfoundland kitchen party without some purity syrup. This is cherry flavored, or as I like to call it, red. This is the red one. <laughs> so, um, anybody who has drank purity syrup before, you know it's probably, it's a game of trial and error to see if you have too much or too little and you, you kind of, you play it out with each sip if it's good or not. So bear with me while I try to figure out the right proportions here that we should be having. I think it's like, I think a good bet is to have one, like five times as much water or mix. Um, you could have ginger ale if you want to get a little spicy there. Um, but I'm gonna, um, yeah, let's, let's go with, <laughs> let's go with 50 milliliters of red. Killing it so far. <laughs> and let's go with a cup of ginger ale. So 250 milliliters. Math tells us that's five times as much. I bet you didn't know you were gonna get some education in this show today as well. <laughs> All right. So as an, as an example, I'm gonna show my reaction if you don't put enough ginger ale in there. Let's see how this tastes. It's, it's still good, but a little too strong. You know when, when the back of your ears go a little tight? That's what's happening. So let's put the right amount in there. That's the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And you know what? If you want to make it into a fancy kind of drink party we're talking here, why not add a little garnish of a jam jam? Okay? You can't go wrong with a jam jam. I'm just going to see here. I'm just going to make a little, little slit. Look at that. No, I'm not preparing drinks at an establishment. I'm not a professional. You'd never say. Look at that. Enjoy. Have a jam jam in your drink drink and give her. Speaking of jam jams, you can't have a proper Newfoundland kitchen party without purity jam jams. I'm pretty sure every Newfoundlander that is born in this province comes out holding the thing of jam jams. It's just part of it. It's part of our culture. So we have a nice little spread of jam jams can't go wrong with it. Everyone will be happy you came with these in tow. But if you want to get, you know, a little more of a meal going on here, we could always make some Newfoundland hors d'oeuvres. And yes, I had to Google how to, pr how to pronounce that properly <laughs> instead of butchering it um, myself. So here we have the classic Newfoundland hors d'oeuvre, which would be tin of Vienna sausages, bit of cheese, 
and a bit of pickle. Right, today we're, we're just working with sliced cheese, but you know, you can get fancy and go with the, with the cubed cheese. I don't want, I'm not gonna tell you how fancy to get. You, you go with your gut on that. And uh, right now we have some mustard pickles. Love them. But you can go with any kind, any combination of that. And all you really have to do is cut them up, put any combination that you want on a toothpick. If you're feeling it, nobody's gonna fault you for just putting a Vienna on a toothpick. That is a luxury all its own, okay? There's no rules when it comes to this. Also, if you just wanna, like in my household, out in Placentia, a nice little plain slice of bologna. Get a stack of them. We deal them out like cards in my house, all right? Catch them like Frisbees in your mouth. There's no, you're not getting too fancy or fancy enough when it comes to plain bologna, all right? So, and you know what? If you're having guests over, you want to bring out the good china or the good decor, and that of course would be man's doilies. Doilies, as my name would call them. Take out the good doilies. Place your drink drink with your jam jams. That's a fancy party right there. So there you have it, we have drink refreshments, we have some food refreshments. Cap it off with a jam jam for dessert. Breakfast, dinner, lunch, dessert, whatever you have it. And you'll be good to go. Your guests will be glad that you came with any of this in tow. Of course, it's a bit different this year. We can't have the gatherings that we had before, of course, because of the virus. Um, and of course, this is being virtual instead of in person. But that doesn't mean we still can't have some fun and prepare delicious refreshments that everybody can enjoy safely in smaller gatherings. So there you have it. Between this tutorial and what you're gonna learn in your shaker tutorial, you should have everything that you need to be ready to enjoy your kitchen party tomorrow, watching Fergus O'Byrne and Fergus Brown O'Byrne play some wonderful Newfoundland favorite music. Um, and you should be able to enjoy it at home with your families. And I hope you have learned something here today and I hope Truly hope you can do a better job than I can, but I'm sure that uh, with the bones you've been given here at home, you can have a great time. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. Again, my name is Vicki Mullally. I'm a local comedian here in St. John's. You can follow me at Vicki Mullally Laughs online. And this has been for the St. John's Chill Fest taking place February 19th to 21st. And hope to see you there and I hope you have a great time. Thanks. Hi everyone. Uh, we're Conway, and we have a feature performer today. This is our younger sister, Claire. So Hello. She's kind of our guest star for today. Uh, I'm Emily. I'm Thomas. I like to say he's my little brother. Uh, <laughs> not anymore. Not more little anymore, but I'm still the oldest and the tallest in my heart. So uh, anyway. <laughs> OK. Uh, we're here today for the St. John's Chill Fest, and we're happy to be here today uh, to perform for our audience at home and all the viewers. So what we're going to be doing today is show everyone how they can make shakers at home with all the stuff that you might find in your house. So it's kind of a little DIY. We're going to be talking about how to make them. We're going to be talking about how to use them and where they're great to use. So shakers are a lot of fun uh, to play along to a song. And even if you don't have a lot of musical ability, <laughs> you can have fun with it. So it's one of those things that uh, you can play along, like if you're doing a kitchen party event. It's great. So uh, we we're... Have, we have loads of materials. We have all sorts of different things. We have plenty of different examples that we're going to use. And um, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. So oh. we're going to start off. You want to start off? Yes. All right. OK, so what you guys are going to need are some recycled containers, something for the noise, and tape if you have any. Right, so uh, um, we'll Claire, get started. Claire, what are you going to make? Just tell us what you're going to make, first of all. OK, so I'm going to use these two cups like this. And we are going to add some beans. Yeah. And we're going to add some pipe wire for just a little decoration. Just for decoration. All right. You got to love the decoration. And do you have the tape? The, we yes, have loads of tape. Right we have there. loads of tape. OK, so, we don't so need there's to worry about one that. here. Um, what I'm going to do is I've taken, is 
you can use paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls or whatever, um, and you can use them as they are, or you can do as we did earlier, which was decorate them very nicely with lots of flowers and smiley faces. And um, you can put um, whatever you want, a little bit of plastic, maybe construction paper and a couple of elastic bands or tape, whatever you have. You can put it on either end and put a bit of what I'm going to use is going to be rice. And you can put it in the middle and it works pretty well from my experiences from third grade. <laughs> and um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Emily, what are you doing? So. Uh, we actually have one all ready to go. These are just some popcorn kernels. And uh, so if you have something like this in your cupboard and you don't have any of the other materials, uh, you just want to, you know, you're having your party, everyone's playing songs, you want to join in. Uh, you don't have time to do your arts and crafts and make one up. This is perfect because it already works pretty well. So you got a little shaker noise there already. So. Um, this one's pretty good on its own. We're gonna use this, and this here is a peanut butter jar uh, that's all emptied out. So we're gonna try this one by itself, and then we're gonna try it in kind of a different container to show what kind of different sounds you can get with that too. And we're gonna try um, this glass one we have. Recommend not to use it uh, for younger people or little kids, but uh, this one kind of has a fun little sound, and we'll show you in a bit too. This has more of a tinkle to it, so it's fun. And then <laughs> she likes the funny words. <laughs> kind of like um, a kind of like Christmas bells. song. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what, what I, sounds that's like. That's what I thought when I heard so it. So when we were making it earlier, and uh, this is just a little Tupperware. So it's one of those things that I'm sure everybody has at home. And uh, we're going to try this with a few different things as well. And you're going to use uh, what are you using? So we're going to use rice and quinoa, I believe it's called. <laughs> we All just right. found this today. So this usually sounds better with like the glass, and then. Um, something else, like the beans might sound better uh, with the plastic, so it's all up to you. We're going to make a bunch just to show, show everyone kind of what sounds like what, what works best in which kind of container, and we're going to experiment, try all sorts of things, and then you can decide which one you like best. Quinoa is also good for granola bars. That's what it's good for. That is what it's good for, yes. Uh, yeah. It's good to make food, so you know, if you're doing like that, anything, you have recipes, or you even have anything different. So like we've got beans and rice and popcorn kernels. We there got everything. Are tons everything. Of options. Everything that you yeah. have in your cupboards most likely have in your cupboards. Right. So, so you can always it's, get creative. It's, it's, and of course, there's other stuff you can use. You can use um, frozen peas. You can use whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Anything you got in the cupboards really is just find something that makes noise. So I guess we'll get started now. So. Are we all just going to go with this? I guess we just go at the same time because yeah, it's not so going to take that yeah. much. Explain yours. Show all the materials so you're I using. Have, I have paper towel rolls. I have a couple pieces of construction paper. One's a little bit thicker than the other, so that's going to be a little bit strange. And I have some elastic bands here, but I might, I might just use tape. Good old tape. Good old tape. All right, Emily, you're going to use the, you're going to use all of them, aren't you? We're going to try, we're going to try different things. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do a bit of experimenting yeah. today because we, we honestly, <laughs> The only thing we tried was the mason jar and oops, and um, the popcorn kernels. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. I think we're going to learn some new things. Yes, what does so and doesn't make sound? We're going to try a bunch what of stuff. Does so what I'm going to show first is this one here. All right, so Claire, this one I've let's get done. started. Where oh. are the scissors? Uh, I have them over here. What, okay. do you, what do you need scissors for? The oh, you got to open that beans. bag, don't you? we got to open the right. beans. There we so, go. Uh, everybody be safe with scissors. Yes. Uh, Don't run around the house. You want to make sure you have parental supervision. Uh, I am going to say so that cool. I count. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they smell so good. All right, so you pour those in there. How did you know how oh, they smell? Okay. <laughs> um. That's, oh, that's there a bit, we that's go. A, Do you think that's, that's enough That's a bit there? much. Oh, I dropped All two. Right. That's okay. So also, I would recommend um, when you're making them, you do not have to fill them up all the way. Yeah, if we, you might do, pour, we might want to pour some of those back make, in. <laughs> it's not going to make as much <laughs> sound. Lot. So it's best to probably, I would recommend, like for something like this, fill it up maybe closer to halfway, closer to three quarters. And uh, so, there you go. like this one is about the right amount already. Okay, grab some in there. Um, so if you're filling something up, you don't want to fill it up all the way, it's not going to make enough noise, or if any. So this is what we're looking at now. There's 
Um, probably about almost halfway there, probably closer to so, nobody around can, there. Nobody can One see it when you're on the there. back. <laughs> so, <laughs> just showing there. Um, uh, so, these. that would be pretty good for these two here. So, you're going to connect those together, yeah? Yeah. So, we don't want to use too much. Um, no. We don't want to use too little. So, now I'm going to start with these while you're doing that. Can you help get the tape open? Are you having trouble with the tape? I am. Tape is hard. No. Okay. Tape. Tape is hard. This player. is why we do it together. All right. So, so. Um, I have two different colors of construction paper. So I think I'm going to use. All right, there you I'm go. I'm going to use just Thank the one. Thank you. And then maybe we'll use the other side for something else. I don't know. Great. Okay. Kay. Perfect. We are going to put the tape back because we're neat. We don't want to make a keep mess. Keep it nice and tidy. Keep the keep the workspace nice and tidy. Yes. And I'm going to start mine here because mine is pretty easy, pretty quick. So. Look at that. These oh. are our little greens. Our little greens? Nice. Yep. I think I might have made this a bit too small. That's not good. Well, that's what yeah. we're here for. Trial and error. That's the best that's the best way to uh, learn. So this one here is about halfway. This is our Kino. So I want to make sure to get the cover back on tight so none of them are going to fall out. This one's pretty good. It's a screw on cover, so I wouldn't worry about taping these ones. Uh, I messed so this up. one here is smaller grains, but it's got a little metal cover. So the sound it's going to produce is going to be a little bit different. So this kind of has, I don't know how well you guys can hear it all at home, but it has a little bit of a tinkle noise. Like I said earlier, it kind of sounds tinkle. like... Um, bells at the same time as it's sounding like... It's really Christmassy. It's, 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 yeah. it's more of a Christmas-themed shaker. So if you're having a Christmas party, this one Best is option. perfect. Yeah, the sound for this one is really nice. Okay. And when so, we're done, we'll just oh, put, all, we'll put all of the shakers we make up there. So this one is all done, ready to go. That one's pretty simple. It takes about two seconds. Could you help me? Because this is, this is actually pretty hard, I find. That's what okay. we're here for. There we go. I'm oh, also no. going to use that tape. Right. Um, oh, for no, anyone that okay. doesn't know, another fun trick to using the tape would be stick it on and then kinda, and then roll it around. Kind of roll it around. Genius. You are very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it looks you wish like, you thought of that earlier, didn't you? Um, maybe we should cover this part as well. So we took little just scotch a little tape. Bit. Yeah, that should work. Cause so. we don't need too much tape. We don't want to waste all our tape. Because then our parents would get mad at us. <laughs> She's saying that because mom's in the audience. <laughs> She's what? saying that because every Christmas mom gets a bunch of tape and she'll have all her wrapping paper and she'll be doing her gifts and she has enough tape to finish all the gifts she has to wrap. Until but, Claire gets into it. But Claire uses <laughs> the tape for her arts and crafts, which she does an abundance of around Christmas time, so mom will run out of tape. So that's why she's saying don't use too much because it's okay to take it the tape that mom buys to do gifts, but not too much, because you don't want to take it all. Yeah. So, this one here uh, is all done, you're all done taping it. Oh, so. We're adding decorations. Pretty elastic uh, band this on mine. Pretty good idea, I think, so. Oh, you're, you're she's twisting, twisting it. twisting it to make yeah. it Okay, pretty. okay. I so like the creativity. So you can always put that around the middle. Uh, I don't think that this too looks too bad, but if you don't want it to it's be kind of I guess. Sloppy. Yeah, if you want to make it look prettier once you've got the tape around and you're thinking, ah, that doesn't look great, then you can decorate it. So we're All just right, going to wrap so this around. All right, so Emily, you're, you're done your mason jar. So. Yep. Hmm. Um, I'm going to use this rice. I'm going okay. to pour it in. We're I think, you know what it. I just realized? This is upside down now, but it's okay. It's okay. Because it doesn't matter what way you hold it. Um, so I'm thinking like something like this that is rather long is gonna sound more like really those cool rain sticks that you'll no. use sometimes yeah, oh in my elementary. God. The, the, yeah. the elementary rain sticks. You, I remember uh, my music teacher one time. He brought in a whole bunch of them and let us use it. It's a bit loud. That's okay. Now let me see that. No, I can't tell if it's enough. Now see, we got a nice, nice shaker noise at the bottom there. I'm gonna yeah, put a bit more. Could you good. hold that for me? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember using these in school as well, and they had oh. um, rice in them is what I think that they put in them. And uh, they'll usually use like a plastic container, and you just flip it upside down, 
and then you flip it back over, and that's usually how you play it instead of just shaking it. And it kind of sounds like rainwater. Okay. That's the idea of it. So, so Emily, this one um, there. you're getting into you got the middle one done. So um, how about we try the small one with a bit of yeah, um, so, whatever you're using? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're gonna try the small one with a few different things just to see what everything sounds like. So we're gonna try it first with something bigger, which is the grains. Um, these beans, sorry. Yeah. So we're gonna pour these in here. Ooh. Oh. We've got these all over the table. Also, okay. if you right. are pouring out the beans, make sure you have an adult around because you will end up spilling them. You will end up spilling them. I've spilled them already. It's all right. We're making a mess. We're going to clean up. We're going to have a good time. Yep. So uh, this one here is about halfway, maybe a little bit more. So that's kind of what you want to have for that. Oh, and yeah, that's nice, and, that's, yeah. that's nice and loud. That carries. So, so this one's um, a decent. Uh, sound and so we're just going to try a bunch of these. So we're gonna put these back. I'm gonna test we'll this one. Goes. We'll see. Oh yeah. You know. right, how about how about we leave that one and we compare it to the Ooh. the other two? So we'll put um, we'll put that up front hmm. with the um, right. the mason um. jar full of uh, quinoa. Very nice. That's actually really cool. Okay, yeah. we're gonna put that there. All right, so that one's all done and it's looking very pretty as well. And then we've got this other one. I don't know if you. Hey, yeah, Claire's got all the one. bling on it. I got the bling. And it's looking very cute. And this is uh, a perfect little dough too. And it's also got kind of a, a rain sound effect. Yeah, you know? so you can flip it upside down or you can shake it. So now what I want to try is, uh, we already know that this sound is pretty decent here for the popcorn channels in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try it with um, a bigger lid and a heavier cover in the plastic. And we're going to try this and see what it sounds like in here because uh, a lot of musicians who, uh, you know, are going to be particular about what kind of sounds they like. Um, you know, the size of whatever you've got inside. So the popcorn kernels are, you They're know, a little loud. bit bigger than the beans are. And then these here are a lot smaller. So depending on the size of what kind of beads that you've got in there is going to change the sound as much as what you're putting them into. So we're going to try this now. Um, put these in here. So you're gonna use the popcorn kernels, or are you gonna use the? Um, are you gonna try the rice? Because I think, I think we did three different things. Plus we have we already have those, and it's you're basically so right. the same thing. So why yeah. don't we try the rice? We should I'm try gonna, that out. Yeah, I was thinking of trying a few, but I don't think we're gonna get these back in here. So yeah, yeah like we yeah. said earlier, these are really good um, on their own already. So this is something that you know, if you're in a rush, and you know you don't have time to make something. It's all ready to go already. So, uh, I have just finished my little, my long shaker. Um, and I think. That's we're gonna really good. Rice. Oh, I spilled a little bit, or was that you? That was definitely me. Okay. Yeah. She's quite I think messy. that would work out pretty well for you. You could, yeah. you could use a toilet paper roll, or you could cut one of these in half, or you could use um, something a little bit smaller. But I think that this will work out pretty well. I used to make a lot of these back in elementary school and they were always so much fun to make so there's that one finished i'll put that up front with the other two these here are done let's and then move we'll put, these we'll, all here we'll put them all up front so you can have so a we have them. a bunch of different kinds now so and i'd say this too variety. Uh, reminds me a lot of an ugly stick so you know if you had one that was oh, really yeah. long or you had you know the ones that you were uh, using christmas time you know you have the longer ones that has the um Christmas wrapping paper on it, then you could use it kind of more as a stick and it'll work that way. So that's pretty cool too. The last so one here, uh, we're about to just test it out. And this is rice in a peanut butter jar. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, so I'm sure everybody's got one of these in their house at one point or another, you empty it out. And uh, I like that one the best. So this one's got kind of a lower sound on the go. Oh, yeah, whereas that's, like um, something like that's this more so, is more so tingly and higher. Got the bass end. Um, and that's everything, so, basically. I think that's everything. The only things that we have left are these guys over here. So we have mm -hmm. three. Yes. So we yes. actually could do one each, so, and we could try something different in each one. The thing about this is, um, you know, uh, we got our butter. Oh, here's your. And you can just that. fill it with just about anything. You can put a couple beans in it. You know, easy as that. Uh, do we have a lid for it? We don't have a lid for this one. It's right there. Oh, <laughs> I'm really smart. And then you just 
Toss it on. You can put a bit of tape on it, but you know that works out. So yeah, um, that's everything we got. So so then we've got this one here. This one is an old sour cream. Uh, so we'll uh, we got everything done now, so yeah. I guess we just pick one and then we'll have, I guess we'll try it out. Yeah. All right. So, Sounds pretty good with me. Uh, yeah, so the only other two are these containers here. Uh, you could try anything with those. They're going to have kind of the same sound. So, yeah. Um, Which one do you think is your favorite? I think this one's my that favorite. One? That one's your favorite, you think? And how about this one here? All right. I don't know. I think this one is. All right, this is your moment of truth. You pick one. What one do you think is going to be best for our song that, that we're going to perform? This you one. You going to go with that one? Yeah, this one. All right. Go with the rice? Well, All right, how about we choice. play a fiddle tune? Yeah. All right, we so play? yeah, we're going to play a song for everybody now. And Claire's going to join us on Shaker. And uh, we're just going to show how fun it is to use them. So I hope everyone enjoys. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. You be the star. You go in the middle. I will. You will? OK. I will. I I'm always a star, duh. All right, so we're going to play a little fiddle tune now. Uh, this is called Mary Blacksmith. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. We hope you enjoy Chill Fest. We hope you enjoy our little segment that we did. And we hope you can enjoy making some shakers. At home. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> us today. Uh, we're so happy to be here and be a part of the events and I know I had a lot of fun making all the shakers. I hope you guys had fun too. I did too. Yeah, so that's it from us. Uh, thanks again everyone for watching. We're excited to see the whole show play out and I uh, hope you had fun as well. So we'll all see you later. Once again, we are Conway and this is our guest star, our little sister Claire Conway. Thanks, thanks everyone. Bye! <laughs>